Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to talk about the process of creating a form, a Google form, with uploads as videos, and then getting those uploads to Vimeo and saving it there privately so that no one sees the videos but me. So this is TESOL online, free online course that I'll be giving starting in January 2021. You're invited to join. The duration of the course is about 16 weeks, give or take. Hopefully we'll finish everything by 16 weeks. What the um, teachers need to do, first of all, you need to be a teacher with some experience. In order to qualify, you need to uh, record and upload a two to five minute video. The way you upload it is through this form and there's also a uh, playlist explaining how this is done. So they need to add their information, their experiences, and then at the very end they will need to, there's also a uh, QR code here, they will need to add a file. Without this file they cannot continue. Once the file is up, let me show you what it looks like. All the information is here on a drive, a spreadsheet. And what's interesting is that all these are the videos that I still need to add to Vimeo. All the others have been added. I've had over 40 teachers apply for this uh, free online course. It has a certificate, but it's a local certificate, so it's not certified by any university or business. There's no uh, money involved, so um, I'm the only one that's giving it. We may have guests, but it's completely free. All right, so what I do is this, and I want to show you. I have a Vimeo account, and what I did was I connected my Vimeo account with I created a folder called TESOL Online Teaching. Now I'm going to add a video. And this is how it's done. I go into create and not the plus. The plus is for the folder. Click on create and then I'm taken to this page. You have to be in your account of course. And then I'm going to go into new video. There are a few steps here that I think they could get rid of. And then I'm going to go into upload. Now I'm not going to upload from my computer. I just want to make sure that you realize that. Notice what my options are because I've connected my account with Dropbox as well as Google Drive. Now I could have created a form with a link to Dropbox where everyone drops their videos there, but I wanted to test out Google Drive forms and the uploads. So this is uh, how I did it. I'm going to go into Google Drive now, click on it, and then I'm going to go into my account of course and into the form where the videos are and um, it's all connected. Here are the videos. I have added most of these, so the last ones I have not. Usually go by the date, so um, the last date that I did it is November 12th. So the last one was on the 10th, so this is what I do now. I'm going to click on all of these. Okay, it does it in one batch. Really, really easy. Can't go through all of them. Okay, here we go. There were a lot since November 10. I get notified, by the way, so I know when they come in. I add notification to the form. Okay, so that's it. Next, I'm going to click on Select, and it'll go into my Vimeo. All right, so notice it's coming in. I'm going to make all of these private, and I think that's a very important step to make sure that uh, they're private. So, um, oops, I missed that. <laughs> now I'm going to have to do it individually. But, of course, the idea is to make them all private. So you go into the privacy for each of these, and you need to state that they will be private. Okay, so here, right now, by default, it's anyone can see the video. So I'm going to change that to, as I go, 
I'll change it to only I can see this video. Okay, so I'm going to go through all, I don't know how many I had there, only I. Okay, so it's coming through the course and other courses are on a platform called Moodle for Teachers where you can get free professional development. This is uh, information on how to log in. You click over here at the top right. You need to um, go through a privacy policy. You need to confirm your email as soon as you do it. You do it through one of these, Gmail, Facebook, or Microsoft. And then you get your, you have to confirm right away. So make sure that you do that. I'm going to log in as me. You log in with your Gmail, or as I said, or your Facebook. And then I'm, you're going to go into free courses over here. Under free courses, let's take a look at it. List of courses, you'll find the courses by categories. You can take a look at the categories here on the right. Once you enroll in the course, you can show your enrolled courses over here. That's the platform. It's Moodle. It's called Moodle. The platform is called Moodle. The category is uh, Teach English. Everything on this site is completely free. Teach English for Moodle. Okay, these are courses that you won't see, so let me go in as a student. As you. So there are three courses. Notice this one is Teach TESOL online for free. TESOL online is a free and explains if you want further information. This one is the registration form that uh, the participants fill in in order to qualify. Otherwise, you can't get into the course. And this is a um, web quest course. But take a look at this one because that's the one that you'll be taking, hopefully. So we clicked on it and you should get more information. Okay, so here's more information on the course. Here you'll be able to enroll by clicking on the enroll. The course starts, or the registration starts on January 4. Okay, and the topics will be open for you uh, once you enroll. So it says you cannot enroll yourself because there have been restrictions. In other words, you have to be enrolled by me, unless you have the OK in advance. All right, so let's go back to Vimeo and see what we've got. If everything is loaded, it's going to take time, as I said, and uh, I still need to make everything private. So notice all the videos are up, as it says here. All uploads complete. OK, so the next stage, of course, is to watch them. So I'm going to go into Manage Videos over here. OK, and then My Videos. I'm not going to sell anything, of course. OK, so right now I've added them all under TESOL Online, which is a folder that I created, as I mentioned before. And they will all appear here. OK, only here I'll be able to see the photos and not just um, the videos themselves. Notice there are altogether 600 videos. So yes, quite a few. Under TESOL, next I'm going to add the videos to my folder. Okay, so we're going, notice, up to November 12. Okay, so you can see how many there are until November 12. Okay, let's load more. Okay, these are the ones that I added today. Nope, not this one. Only the ones that I added today, which is uh, December 12. Let's make sure that I don't add doubles. 
Okay, so these are all the ones, and I'm going to click on Move. It's really easy, very intuitive. Uh, Vimeo is really amazing. Okay, I'm going to move it to this area. All right, I'm going to move it here, and then I'm going to set Confirm over here. Okay, so I can think about it for a few seconds. So click on that. Notice I've got 28 there already. Okay, so I'm going to click on Confirm. And all 26 will go into the 28th, and that will make it uh, 54. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so now let's go back to our folder, TESOL Online. Okay, so now everything is here. Now notice I can arrange them as I wish. Notice I've got the option, and I can also put them uh, according to when they were added. Okay, these are features that I can play around with. I can view in a grid. Right now it's a list. I can view it as a grid. Okay, that's the grid, and that's the list. I think I prefer the list. Easier on the eye. Privacy, notice some of these are still any one, so I'm going to have to change that. All the privacy that I did, I see only me. Um, all the work that I did, for some reason, uh, didn't stick. So make sure that if you want it private, and I do indeed want these private, make sure that um, they're private. Okay, so these are all the 26, and I'm going to now make them private again. I hope I can do it in one go, because it's a lot of work. Okay, so privacy... I'm going to make it only me. And where can these videos be embedded? Well, embed, I suppose I can embed them anywhere. Can people download these? No, of course, they're private. All right, so that's it. They're private. No one else can get access to them except for me. And I think that's important that teachers realize or anyone who's um, filling in a form and hopefully it'll be so everything now is only me so and added notice um it's according to when added and not when mo modified well nothing was more and that's it hope this has been of help and uh, you learn more about vimeo which is absolutely fantastic as well as google form which is um also really really useful to use Thank you for watching and have a great day. But before you go, remember to subscribe to my channel and ask questions in the comment box. I'll be happy to answer any question.